Oh my god, the female's about to eat it, guys. She's huge. Oh, she turned. She turned. I got her. I got her. Nine pounds. Oh my. Pounder. There's no way. Guys, she's going up to my worm. She's about to eat it. Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another video, guys. We have a banger for y'all today. The last couple videos have been crazy. If you want to go check them out, I'll link them down below. We have caught so many really big fish. And I'm excited to show y'all today's video. I ended up catching a few freaks, like a few freaks of nature. And we saw so many big fish in this video, it's just insane. But before we even hop into that, I wanna talk about April 2nd. So what is April 2nd? It's this upcoming Saturday. My dad's business, SS Airsoft, outside of Atlanta, Georgia. I'm actually gonna be out there at his event and I'm gonna be meeting you guys. So if you guys wanna come up and meet me, it's at SS Airsoft. You can look them up on Google. That's the address to be there. Come out and meet me. I'm gonna be there with the truck and boat. And I'm also gonna be selling some Kickin' Their Bass TV x Lose combos. A lot of y'all have been asking about them. And they're actually gonna be sold for a cheaper price than they've ever been sold before because you're not paying shipping costs. You're gonna save almost, or just about $20 per combo. So if you guys have been wanting a combo, come by, say hey to your boy, and uh, let's talk some fishing, guys. I appreciate everybody's support. We're gonna go ahead and hop into today's video. It's just insane. You guys are gonna to wanna to watch this one all the way through. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button if you guys wanna check out the Kick of Their Bass TV combos or any of my merch website link. It'd be in the description box down below, kickingtheirbass.com. Let's go ahead and hop into this one. Dude, guys, the first pond wasn't working out. I just came to the second pond. I have a couple fish in front of me. I believe they're on bed. I think I have one about to eat me. He's looking at me trying to figure out what to do. I, I almost walked up on him, but I saw him and I was like, there's no way there's bass on bed right here. So I got some bluegill coming up to me, that, that bass. Yeah. Ooh, he just chased off this bluegill. It's actually a freaking pretty good fish. It's a smaller one, there's a bigger one, obviously, a male and a female. Hoping I can get one to bite. I keep getting all this grass on this worm, so I can't really get a good natural presentation. All right, we're going to let this fish settle. We're going to go down this bank. Notice what I'm going to do. This is very important, guys. I, I want to talk about this a little more. We're going to walk down this bank, but we're not going to walk right on top of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk far left, okay? I don't want to walk up on that bank because if I do... I have a good chance that I'm going to spook that bass. I'm going to stay far off, okay? That's a trick. Yeah, I see a good one right here. He just turned on me, actually. Oh my god, he's going to eat me. He ate me. He's a big one. Oh my goodness, like a five pound. No, he ain't that big. He's about a four, though. Golly, look at that thing. Big old head on him. I was trying to cast to him. Look at that mouth on this sucker. <laughs> Start off the video with a fish like that. Look at the hook just fell right off. That is a freaking nice one right there, guys. Pretty fish. There's actually a male on it right there. The male's pretty big. The male's a solid two and a half. This one's pushing four. I think it's a little skinny for it. It's probably a high three pounder, but man that's a good fish to start off the video we're actually going to release her just right here her bed's about five foot to the left i just don't want to throw it right on top of it because i want to see if i can catch that male that is a big old head on that boy look she's going to go right back to her bed look at her go beautiful fish beautiful i haven't been fishing long at this new spot you know i fished on that first bed couldn't get those fish to bite we walked right over here and and bingo we found them. i don't even know if i talked about it i ended up switching up to a texas rig because I had a feeling what I was going to get myself into when I came over here. Yeah, there's the male. He sees me, though. He sees me. Okay. I might be able to catch him. He might be catchable. Yeah, he's a little, he's a little aggressive guy. Okay. He might be catchable here soon, but we're going to keep on walking around, guys. There's, I know there's more beds to catch some fish. The fact that we walked up, we saw that bed, saw some more activity. 
and then pulled up on this bed. There's actually another bed right here. I see some bluegill swimming around it. Oh my goodness, and I see a big largemouth bass and she sees me. Oh. These bluegill are really irritating these bass today. They're kind of working in our favor because some of these bed fish can be very finicky. But with how these bass are sitting today, I mean, look at them. They're chasing bluegill right there. They, these bluegill, like, got these bass so fired up that if we throw a worm in there, like I said, I want to twirl on me. There's a good chance that they're going to eat it. You know what I mean? There's a good chance that they're just going to turn on it and eat it. And that's what happened with that good one right there. I know you guys know in some of the recent episodes we were catching some freaking tanks on beds. But my conditions were horrible compared to today's. Today's conditions are prime. We got some good, nice weather. Sunny day, I can actually see in the water. I can see really what's happening. These fish just seem active too. There's so many beds and there's so much going on that it's really hard for me to hunker down on something. So much happening. There's a lot of tilapia in this corner. This might be primarily tilapia beds. Yeah, these are tilapia beds. You can you can tell when they're tilapia beds when they're really like see that beautiful tilapia right there. They're they're really dug out. And what tends to happen is the bass will push up, they'll end up bedding, and these tilapia end up coming in and bedding on top of the bass. They're very invasive. Uh, I really hate these tilapia. When you come to a lot of Florida ponds, there tends to be a lot of tilapia. Does not mean that there can't be a big bass bed nearby. And they are blowing up on the other side of the bank like something I've never seen. Man, if I was fishing for them today, we'd have a ball. Is there any bass nearby tilapia? Because all I see is y'all in this corner. It's kind of crazy how the pond a, a break off in certain directions. Like you'll have one side of the pond that you primarily have largemouth beds, and then you'll break off on another side of the pond. It's just a ton of tilapia. It's kind of crazy how that works. You have some baby tilapia down here. Oh my God, God, there's a, there's a bass like I've never seen before right here in this puddle. What? Hold on. We got to play this very strategically. He's trapped in here, I think. I don't think he can get anywhere, right? I just saw like a, a monster, guys. Like, I don't know how big he was, but he's freaking. I saw the side of him. It was like, like, this fish might be up close to eight plus. I don't know where he's at because it's so shady. It's on fan cast for a minute. What in the world? He might be trapped in here. I mean, he can obviously get out towards that. I'm gonna lay my eyes on this girl. We're gonna get really low. If we can get our hands on this one. I will be more than happy with today, even if I don't catch another fish. Oh my God, guys, that's a freaking like 10 pounder. There's no way. Guys, she's going up to my worm. She's about to eat it. She's about to eat it. <gasps> guys, that fish is so big. Oh my gosh, that dude. <laughs> what is going on? She almost ate my worm right there. This is the biggest bass I've seen in a minute. That fish is every bit of this length. Like has to be upwards of over 25 inches. I don't know where she's at, but she's in this like puddle. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I think our best bet is to risk it and walk away. We'll try to go catch some more fish and come back. But I'm gonna tell you, I haven't seen a bass this big since my 10 and a half pounder I caught. I couldn't even tell you how big this fish is. I'd have to get a better look on her, get her out of the water, but she's huge. These are all tilapia. A little bass right there. Let's see. That's freaking had him like that. I'm trying to find this big one, guys. And I, I just can't see her. And I don't know why. It's only but, shoot, three foot max in this little puddle. And I just, I can't spot her. She must be sitting still in like a corner. She, she's got to be in that corner. If there was sun on this spot, I could tell you, I could be like, oh, there she is. But I happen to not be able to see her right now. 
And I think our best bet is to not play around with that fish right now. If we want to come back, we definitely will. There's, if she's in there, there's definitely one in here. And we saw some bass on bed. So I think we're going to go back to those and see if we can catch them. So this is the test for today. We know where some bass are on bed. Now we got to play this strategic. They weren't having it when we are sitting right up in front of them. That was a tilapia. So now we got to play it a little more strategic and, and, and sneak up on these fish. That's the trick, and that's how we're going to end up catching these fish. In one of the recent episodes, you know, I caught some really, really big ones. And the only reason is because I went back to those fish, and I played it strategic, and I played it smart. These fish, when they're like this, I, I rarely see fish like that. Oh, there's a good, there's a good bass on bed. So this is what we're going to do. He can't see me from here. This might be wild to make a cast. I got to be very accurate here. I honestly want to do a flip. He actually just, he went off his bed. I don't think it's because he saw me. He's chasing some bluegill. Okay. It's perfect time. Perfect flip. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit back and I'm going to just watch. He's pulling up on me right now. Right now that's a bluegill. That's a bluegill. He'll be pulling up any second now to chase his bluegill out and he might pick up my worm while he's at it. She did not like that. She just ate me. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> That's the male. But as a prime example on how we're gonna be targeting these bed fish today, being very strategic being smart with what we're doing and uh to catch these fish you know these are fish that people are fishing for too guys if you notice her mouth is all messed up she's been caught a few times i don't see any like new hook marks in the top of her mouth but pretty little bass it's actually the male thank you for biting buddy why don't you get right back on your bed thank you that was so cool guys look at that she did a little jump for us that was so cool just to like creep up on a fish like that. Be very soft and subtle and be very accurate with our flips and pay attention to what we're doing to move that bait to really trigger that bass to bite. And we just executed that perfectly. Now we're gonna go down this bank. I know there's a couple more and they're a lot bigger than that fish. There's some right there. He just sitting right there. Those were all tilapia that just popped right there. All right. Yeah, I think I see where you're talking about right up there. I was trying not to spook them. They get a little finicky. How are y'all? Have they? Oh yeah, I see him right there. Yeah, that's a really big one. Yeah, he keeps pulling up right there on that grass. I think the weather's perfect because it's not so hot. It is, yeah, I know. It's beautiful out. That wind kind of keeps it a little cooler, too. Well, I'm going to walk down this way. You guys have a blessed day. Hey guys, there's a few big ones right there. It's also a really big one right there. Oh, my goodness. And then the bed down from that is actually a tilapia. Those were some of the most kind, like, those are the most kind people I've ever talked to. You know, some people get a little crazy about you fishing, but... They're so nice. They're like, there's a big bass over here. You should try to catch it. There's a huge one pulling up on me, guys. I mean, a big one. Oh my goodness, guys. That fish is every bit of eight and nine pounds. Working it up on this fish, guys. I got another one on bed. I saw some freaking giants here. There's so many big bass pulled up, guys, but they're so finicky. These are actually some of the hardest bed fish I've came across in a long time. I'm right in front of her. I, just don't, I don't even think she knows I'm here. She might be coming up to me. It's hard to tell. Oh, yeah, she's coming over to me. She just picked it up and spit it out. All right, this fish is catchable. I'm just going to stay this far off. I'm going to play this very strategic. I know how these fish are acting today. Dude. Oh my god, he did not like whatever I just did. I thought he was gonna turn and eat it right there. He just spun on it. Here we go. We're getting closer, guys. That's a big fish too. He's a little bigger than I thought. 
I saw them spin right there. I could see the width of them. Oh yeah. Come on, baby, eat it. Oh gosh, she's so close. Here we go, guys, this is it. The male just pulled up too. Oh my goodness. That was so vicious, bro. You were so calm the whole time and then you just freaking fired off on me. Look how thick this fish is. That's a freaking giant right there, boys. Look at that thick girl. <laughs> That's a four pounder all day long. Look at that big bass, boys. So I never walked up on her and it made me start to think, I'm like, this might be a dang stick. And then I realized, I was like, wait, that's actually a dang fish. And then she finally started to move. That is a thick girl if I know of one for the best. We got that meatball right here. I'm gonna release her back in the water. My camera actually said it was too hot, but that's a nice four pound fish right there. That's literally the body of a three pounder, but it's actually like a four. Watch it kick off. <laughs> That's why you gotta love fishing right there. That is so sweet. She was literally sitting there the whole time and she wouldn't even move on that worm. And then I could finally start to tell that she was getting aggravated with it and she just dove right over yeah, it. That was crazy. That was freaking an awesome bite right there. <laughs> to see that fish just get so mad and turn on that bait like that and just eat it at the bank was just so cool. That was so cool to watch. I could tell like a couple foot before that, that it was time that she was gonna bite. And and finally I got her to trigger off on it. It was like I was fishing for a dang stump the whole time. It's like, I couldn't get her to move. I, it was really weird. And then all of a sudden those last couple flips is when she started to roll and kind of get mad. And she just literally chased it up on the bank and slammed it like a top water. <laughs> that was sweet. Was, my camera keeps throwing an error that it's too hot. But I'm about to catch this fish. There's a male and a female on bed. The, the male's freaking big, but the female's even bigger. The male's the one who's more interested. He just swam off right there. But I really think I can get these fish to bite. I keep throwing up there and then they'll pull right back up. Like, look, she's already pulled up right on it. She's gonna eat it right here. That male's sitting right there. Eat me. She ate it. I cannot believe how big that male is. That's a three pound male. Oh my goodness, what a freaking football. I'm hoping that female is gonna pull on that bed because guys, this is the male, okay? <laughs> if that tells us anything, that's a freaking male, okay? <laughs> that's a big bass for a male, dude. That's a three pounder all day long. Look at that belly on that fish. Unbelievable. Unbelievable how thick that bass is. That is awesome. Thank you, buddy, for biting. You're an aggressive one. That was sweet. You gotta love bed fishing, guys. This is just, man, springtime. Fishing's been so good, especially down here in Florida. I've been coming down to Florida a lot because I wanna get on some of this. And I've been doing a lot of bank fishing because I mean, the beds, I mean, they're all pushed up. There's like not a reason for me not to, you know what I mean? It's just been so good. But I'm about to start getting out on the boat here a lot soon. I just don't have many lakes by my house. So if I can catch them like this, why not go do it, right? Oh my gosh, guys, I see a giant. I see a giant down here. Two giants. It's a male and a female, and they're both massive. No, I just spooked them. I'll stay way far out. Those fish are at least 20, 30 foot in front of me. Oh, he's looking at me, no way. Oh, he's gonna eat me. He's literally about to eat me. Please eat the female, the female's huge. Oh my God, that female's so big. The female's about to eat it, guys. She's huge. Oh, she turned, she turned. I got her. I got her. Oh my god, she's huge. This is like a nine pounder. Gotta be eight or nine pounds. Oh my gosh.
Every bit. Every bit. I'm a flipper. It's very ballsy, but I'm a flipper. Oh no, I can't flip that bitch. No. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. <laughs> that is a freaking tank, boys. I mean, a straight freak of nature. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that fish right there is a big one, man. That is a freaking monster holy cow i can't believe i got the female bite the male the male is a little bit smaller than this but it is the other fish is still monstrous this is just a tank I and mean, look at the tongue on that fish bro wow so pretty i'm gonna get a quick picture and get her back in the water all right y'all we're about to get this beast back in the water comment below on how big you think that fish is as a freaking mega guys freaking meat ball of a bass guys this has been a crazy day and the thing is i've seen fish bigger than this one on bed which is just insane the the trick is you got to really play these fish and get really far off you guys saw it's about 30 foot away from this bass to get her to buy it there she goes wow Oh my gosh, that's why you gotta love bass fishing right there. Wow. I was standing over here on this bank and I spotted them. Got a little closer, threw up there, clicked my spool, backed off to the back to that corner. I was about 30 foot from that fish and uh, got her to bite. That's insane. I think that was actually my first cast on them too. It's because of how I played it, guys. It's, I played it so strategic right there. That's what I've been talking about all day today. There's another boil. I think that's the male. Yeah, the male's up there. He's pretty big. He's not as big as that one. Let's see if we can get this male to bite. All right, fish. I don't want to work on you too much longer. Just eat me. That's the male. I literally caught the female first and then the male. This is a three pound male, which makes sense with a seven, eight pound female, honestly. Oh, she's aggressive too, or he's aggressive. Oh, sorry, buddy. God, look at that fish. Look at that. Three pound male on bed with a seven to eight pound female. When you have a male that's, that's this big, you know you're on some freaking big bad fish. Usually the males are those little squeaky one to two pounders. When you got three pounders like that, as a male on a bed, you know you're on some good fish. <laughs> what a pretty bass. Thank you, buddy. I was just going to catch you and put you right back in. I ain't trying to hurt you. You can go swim off. God, he's angry. That is a mad fish right there. Guys, you're not going to believe this. <laughs> just caught me. A fish this dang big is like a nine pounder, dude. And I didn't have my GoPro rolling. It was the craziest clip. It was the first cast. Oh, no. I didn't have my GoPro rolling. Oh, my. All right, to show you guys how big this fish is, I'm gonna take a quick picture like this and get her back in the water. Oh my gosh, guys. Look how big that fish is, dude. I'm getting this puppy back in the water. What a beast. I mean, what a freaking beast. And it's so hard to see right now with how the sun is. I can't believe I didn't get the GoPro shot, guys. I'm more mad at myself for not having a dang scale. Oh my God. <laughs> guys, I cannot believe that. I'm so mad that I didn't have my camera on. That was one of the coolest bites ever. Like I hooked her, she pulled drag and she was working all out here, all that. I caught her down there. I had to land her down here. Oh my goodness. Guys, I think that's gonna conclude today's video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. We've been catching some really big bass, bank fishing, a lot of ponds recently. You know, I've been wanting to get out on the boat, but the, the bank fishing 
has been so good that it's just it's hard to give up when you're catching eight nine pounders like that you just can't i don't know guys it's crazy but i hope you guys enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you haven't already share this video with a friend get somebody new into fishing hit the like button if you guys enjoyed it and i'll catch you all in the next one